So we put the, the first year together and it was here at the International Center, but it was in one of the smaller halls. And we were expecting approximately 5,000 people. And uh, for those of you who've seen the first year YouTube video, we actually ended up getting 30 plus thousand people in our first year. And it was raining, it was like monsoon, and people were waiting in line. I think it was three hours just to get in. My wife, Salima, she is a revert. So when she, she went from eating everything that was, any, everything and anything she could possibly eat to now, you know, such a small, you know, criteria of food that she can eat. So we would uh, go to these restaurants and uh, we'd find, finally find our favorite restaurants, places to eat. And as soon as we got addicted and, you know, we uh, it became our flagship spot to go eat, uh, they, would sh they would shut down. Uh, and the reason for them shutting down is, uh, you know, they're great chefs, they're great cooks. Unfortunately, they didn't have a marketing background. You know, in this day and age, it's all social media, it's all networking. So we said, you know what, let's, let's try to help these people out. So I uh, started a blog called Halal Foodie. And at first it was just family and friends that would follow us and then rapidly started to grow. Within a year it started to grow. Uh, we had a lot of followers and uh, you know we were getting phone calls from restaurant owners thanking us, thank you so much, you know you saved our uh, business. So one day uh, we were sitting on the sofa and I was watching, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I'm watching because it's uh, you know the audience will probably laugh at me, but um, we were watching a show and she said to me, hey wouldn't it be a great idea if we did a halal food festival. And I kind of just ignored her, right? I said, yeah, yeah, that'd be a great idea, honey. Great idea, great idea. Can you give me the popcorn? Right? Um, month later, she kept bugging me. Uh, throughout that month, she kept asking me over and over and over. And I said, you know what? Okay, let me sit down. Let me put together uh, you know, a plan and see if it's something that we could do. Toronto is so diverse. It's one of the most, it's, I would say it's the most diverse city in the world and you know it's it's laden with so much culture but it's all in pockets you've got your South Asians you've got your Arabs you got your Somalians you got you know um, you know it's, it's all these walks of life but they're all within their own communities it's always like one sect of of that audience goes here and goes there and goes there there's no unity there's no you know so we figured this would be a great way to unite the Ummah. What better way to unite the Ummah over, uh, you know, over food? Universal language it speaks to everyone. And we have a great uh, following with non-Muslims that come to our show, right, to learn about uh, halal and uh, what is halal. And subhanAllah, like, you know, we're year after year, uh, we're seeing new faces, we're seeing more diversity, um, and that in essence is why we continue doing the show because there's a lot of work and effort that goes into this. As a matter of fact, we wanted to stop doing it after year one because we have full-time jobs. But we saw the response we got from the community and people loved it, they were like, this is something so needed. From year one to now, we've seen such a dramatic change in the halal scene in Toronto. Everything from manufacturers before you had hot dogs and burgers and chicken nuggets. Now you've got like shawarma, you know, you've got tikkas, you've got, uh, uh, you know, halal pizza that you can get, um, steaks, uh, brisket. A couple years back we had uh, animal rights activists outside and they were picketing and whatnot and believe it or not you know we engaged with them we uh, asked them do you even know what halal is we've also we also get a lot of people hate messaging you know about halal you know either tweets or instagram and i think it is a, is a positive thing because it's people that are uneducated where they don't know necessarily know what halal means that being said you know when they're engaging with us we can engage with them and we can actually we can actually respond to them, right? And there's not there's there's the people that actually engage us, and then there's then there's their followers that just listen. So we're actually educating them.
what is halal? How do we get to be halal? So one of the things that we're really proud of is Curse Candy. They are one of, they are the first. Have a good look at this guy. He's one of the best looking guys you'll ever see in your life with a bow tie. You know, one million, a little bit over one million Muslims in Toronto, uh, Canada. Half of those actually reside in the GTA, which is um, remarkable, right? And then the second largest is in Montreal and then uh, in the West a little bit more. So um, when these numbers are actually, you know, being resonated with these restaurants and uh, manufacturers, they see that there's a, you know, it's a billion dollar industry, right? Uh, it's a huge population that we're not catering to that live in our neighborhoods. Uh, even downtown, there's so many places now that actually have halal, right? Or they cater to us now. If you just make a quick phone call, I'm on my way. Uh, I would like to either make reservations for tomorrow. Would you be able to get me halal? And, and you can do that now. I mean, who would have thought you'd be able to do that 10 years ago, right? So we have the capability now because the word halal is out there. Uh, the, the, the presence of, of Muslims is out there. Well, the hardest part, the biggest part is to sell the idea. Like, I was sold on the dream, you know, and uh, my wife at the time, Salima, she told me, let's do, let's do this. I was sold on the dream. I was like, okay, this is amazing. You know, so much greatness can come out of this. But now selling that dream, that idea, that vision to the retailers, to the manufacturers, that was the hard part, right? If you go out here, we have, uh, we have over 300 vendors. So convincing 300 people, uh, 300 different uh, businesses to participate in the show and, and follow us in our dream, that was the hardest part, coming home at you know, 12, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, constantly going to meetings, um, the story about our, so we needed a sponsor. Our, our main sponsor, year one, I approached uh, Maple Leaf Foods Mina, and uh, you know, we had a couple of meetings, and went back and forth and they originally they, they turned me down they said unfortunately we sat with the board and uh, we can't uh, we won't be able to participate in the show uh, yeah. oh wow okay a spoon here. I got you. All right, he, he's offered me a spoon but you know I'm gonna need the traditional way with my fingers this is it so you got to take this entire thing and you pop it in your mouth and it's just like an explosion in your mouth Yeah, it was, it, it was the idea that, like, okay, it's the first year, I don't know, this other show has been successful. So, I'm a very persistent man, you know? It was my dream and I wanted to make sure uh, it, you know, came to fruition. So, I got back on the phone, said, okay, I would like to have one more shot at explaining to you why you need to be presenting, sponsor, and be a part of the show and had my notes, I had my thoughts, and I was very passionate. It came from here, and I actually turned them around, right? They said, you know what? Went back to the board. They see the vision here, right? And, uh, you know, we, we signed on to like a five-year, uh, you know, partnership. And SubhanAllah, they were one of the first people that uh, uh, supported us. An amazing success story. They started about five years ago. In, in Ottawa, and now they're at 17 franchises, 17 franchise stores. So, Alhamdulillah, you know, this is what the halal scene is all about. You know, it's like hearing success stories like this just makes us, be, you know, want to do more and more and more. Oh my God, you can see it on my face. I'm exhausted. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot, a lot of work. Um, I love the show, you know, like I'm, I'm exhausted during these three days. However, when I go places and, you know, I go to a gathering or a function or a wedding and I just hear people talking, oh my God, I was at the Halal Food Fest. It was so amazing. I'm so glad. It, it just, it brightens up my day, it, it, you know, it, it, my heart just, 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 just starts beating so fast, and it's it amazing. Um, and when I hear stories where, you know, I never used to eat halal, 
and now I eat halal because I didn't know there were so many options. I didn't know I can eat, have halal organic chicken. I didn't know there was this. I didn't know there was this. That's the reality. As humans, we are, we're busy. You know, it's, it's you know, we, we work to live nowadays, right? Uh, we don't have time in the day. Time is the most precious thing. And we don't have time to do research. No one has time to do research, to pick up the phone and do this. So we just fall into routine. And coming here, you're breaking that routine because now we're giving you the options. We're giving you, uh, we're answering those questions for you. Right, so after every year, I feel like, you know, that's it. No more for me, no more for me. But alhamdulillah, like I guess I've committed to this. Um, I see that it's, it's making a change and I'm doing it for my children. Doing it for my children, I'm doing it for your children, I'm doing it for everyone's children. So, you know, the halal scene, the world will be, you know, a better world for them. And uh, the non-Muslim uh, consumers out there, they'll understand and they, they can help support us as well. You know, after all, we're all neighbors, right? Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.